from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Mark Mullins and here are some of today's headlines. Vaccines rolled into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today. A national bus tour with the goal of getting more Americans vaccinated made a pit stop in Speedway earlier today and the U.S. Secretary of Labor was along for the ride. Labor Secretary Marty Walsh joined IMS President Doug Bowles, IndyCar driver Tony Kanaan and healthcare heroes for a trip around the track and then out to a pop-up clinic. The bus tour is part of a national month of action by the Biden administration to get Americans vaccinated against the coronavirus. It officially kicked off last week in South Carolina and is headed to Dayton tomorrow. The coronavirus is not about political parties. The vaccine is not about political parties. The vaccine is about people's health. The vaccine is about we lost over 600,000 Americans have lost their life due to COVID-19. Uh, millions of other Americans got, 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 the COVID, got COVID-19 and they have side effects of it now. IU Health tells WRTV around 50 people signed up for the pop-up clinic today and 39 got vaccinated. More than 90,000 people have now gotten vaccinated at IMS and over 2.76 million are fully vaccinated in the state. Weather headline flooding potential. There's a flash flood watch out through Saturday morning at 8 a.m. from just north of Terre Haute to Peru. That area includes Monticello, Delphi and uh, Lafayette as well, as well as Williamsport and Vetersburg. Periods of thunderstorms in the forecast, especially during the day Friday, 81. Thunderstorm chances diminish a bit Saturday and Sunday in central Indiana. They stay high to the north. Then we're back, all of us with thunderstorms in 87 Monday. Mark. All right, Kevin, thank you. You can watch all of our content anytime by finding us on Roku or opening up the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.